Hi, this is Joe with the Manage Team at Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to create a custom zone. Segregating your network with zones allows you to apply security policies to the inside of your network. You can then organize your network resources to different zones, allowing or restricting traffic between those zones. So let's jump in. Welcome to my lab. This is our TC270 on a 7 firmware. To create a custom zone, you will go to Network, System, Interfaces. Uh, common configurations will look similar to this, where XO is your LAN, X1 is your WAN, uh, and then you have other um, interfaces uh, and zones for your network resources, your network needs. I see here that X7 is unused, unassigned. There's no link to it. So let's configure this one for the video. Click on the editing pencil. Here you see zone. These are zones that I already have on my network. Today we're going to create a new one. For the example, let's use, let's say we need a zone for our front office. We want to isolate them from the network and restrict several um, services to them. Next is our security type. SonicWall has four options here. SSL VPN, wireless if you were using a SonicWall, uh, Sonic Wave for your access point, public um, for a DMC or something facing the internet, and a trusted zone. We are going to choose a trusted security type for this zone. To globally enable the license security features that will be applied to this new zone, select the scanning engines that you wish to apply. I'm going to select all of them. Um, we will cover each of these in greater detail in future beta releases, um, but for now, I'm just going to select all of these since I am licensed for them. Now, these last four options, SonicWall allows you to auto-generate um, access rules for this new front office zone. These selections are based on trust level. If we select this one right here, we are telling the firewall to go ahead and auto-generate uh, auto access rules from this trusted zone, this trusted zone, um, to any other trusted zones in our network. Uh, for example, our LAN zone right here is trusted. And it also will auto-create um, these access rules for future trusted zones that we create. While these auto policy creations are an awesome sonic wall feature where the firewall will create allow all policies between our trusted zones and networks, as I mentioned before, for this example, we need zone isolation and stronger segmentation. Instead, in this scenario, I want to uh, implement purpose-driven policies between my zones, uh, and then we can do this with firewall rules, which we will provide those examples in a separate video. I'll be sure to add a link. Now you have your zone. You can finish um, editing this interface 7. We are going to put for an office. Um, I am going to leave a link for a video about interfaces um, where you can review and see the options there. For now, let's just oops. for now let's just leave it here. Before I leave, I would like to show you another place where you can manage and view your zones. If you go to object, match objects, and then zones. You will see all your zones, um, what security type, what interface they're attached to, and then the services, security services that are assigned to that zone. You may edit here if you find the little pencil, um, and it will take you back to the menu we were in when we created the zone um, at the interface page. And there we go, that's how you create a custom zone. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you are notified of future video releases and come check us out at firewalls.com where you can find a large selection of top rated security brands and also learn about our managed services.
See you at the next video.